All right, for the next little bit, we're going to talk about the use and the operation of uh, fall protection systems. Now, there's a variety of fall protection systems that we use uh, during steel erection. Uh, these may be uh, guardrails uh, that we string up using 3 8 cable, uh, or they may uh, be portable beamers. Uh, we have different fall protection systems. Uh, understanding what the use of each of these systems are and the operations of them is very important. It's going to uh, enable you to have a better opportunity to guarantee uh, your own well-being. So we want to talk about those and, and make sure that you understand these fall protection systems, what they can do, what they can't do, how they have to be handled. Now, anchorage points are the foundation for all fall protection systems. Uh, each anchorage point needs to be able to support 5,000 pounds. Let's talk about what 5,000 pounds is. If you have uh, been out uh, in the street and seen a pickup truck drive by, could be a GMC Sierra. Uh, GMC Sierra, one of the, the, the bigger long beds, probably right in the neighborhood of 5,000 pounds. So whatever you use as an anchorage has got to be able to support the weight of a pickup truck that's that size. So keep that in mind. Now, we've all been on job sites and we've seen uh, people tied off to wall studs. Uh, a metal wall stud will not serve you as a an anchorage point. Whatever you tie off to needs to be able to support 5,000 pounds. Now, with us as iron workers, we are going to be using a uh, full harness. Now, a full harness has uh, two straps here, it has a D ring in the back, uh, it has a belt, usually a padded belt around it, and then there are two uh, leg straps. So you can call it a five point harness if you want to call it that, but that's what we're talking about. Now, the way we use them, we use them with uh, two lanyards, two six foot lanyards. We also attach to that uh, an SRL, uh, self retracting lifeline, or what you would hear called sometimes a yo yo. Uh, that's another part uh, of this, this harness that you're going to have. So the harness is your basic, as an iron worker, your basic means. Uh, of fall protection. So you want to understand that and understand how to use it. Now, uh, eventually we're going to come back and talk about safety posts because those are uh, what you're going to be putting on beams so that you can attach uh, them to, uh, so that you can tie off to them when you're up on the iron. But we're going to skip that for a minute. We're going to talk about retractable lanyards or SRLs or yo-yos. Uh, they can make fall protection much easier. Here's the advantage between, say, just a six-foot lanyard uh, and an SRL. Uh, 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 SRL is going to stop you between 18 and 24 inches. So uh, your stop is much quicker. Now then, having said that, the SRLs, the personal SRLs that we give you, or yo-yos that we give you, uh, attach to your D-ring. They have their own shock absorber, so they go straight to your your D-ring in the back, and then you can use them to attach. Typically, you're going to want to attach up and behind your head because if you attach up and behind your head, you're not uh, too wide apart. You're not swinging one way or the other too far. Uh, then that is going to help you if you go off the iron stop much, much, much more quickly. So you may take uh, a beamer and put it up over your head and attach your SRL to it or something else. You may have uh, what we call cheater cables, a, a, a tie-off cable that goes around the beam above that you can attach to. Uh, there's various configurations as to how you can do this. You can take your SRL and you can attach it uh, to a horizontal lifeline that's attached to a post. Uh, also, uh, we have beamers. Now, a beamer is an adjustable clamp couple of pieces of brass, brass hooks on them, then they have a, a 
ring and that ring uh, is what you use to tie to tie off to rather. Uh, a beamer can be used in the horizontal position uh, on the top of a beam. It can be used on the bottom of a beam above you. Uh, if you put it on a column for any reason, realize that it will not hold there. Uh, so if you put it on a column, it has to have a beam running into it or a beam seat, something to stop it because those beamers uh, will slide and slide relatively easily. Now, as you are walking away from them up on the iron, you may have to reach behind and, and, and nurse them along a bit. Sometimes guys will put uh, the beamers in front of them and slide them when they walk across the iron. Uh, but realize that they, they will, if, they, if you're not careful, get cocked sideways and then they become difficult to deal with. Um, so having said that at the moment, I think we're going to stop right there and then we'll come back and talk about some other uh, parts of the fall protection systems.